Welcome back to the Beehive Blitz. Alta High has been on a tear this season. The Hawks are averaging almost 40 points per game. Yeah, but it's always a tough game against Tim Few, and this one was all T-Birds tonight. The pass from Nui Adolfo to Fonga Pulu. This is a touchdown, 7-0. Second quarter, they give it to Sione Moa, and he gets to the sideline, and no one will catch him. He goes 60 yards. Tim Few was up 14-0, and it got worse. The second half, Adolfo to Rowan Ray. Just another pinpoint pass. This one goes 74 yards. And another Tim U touchdown. The Thunderbirds crushed wow. Alta on Alta's homecoming night. The final 41-21. Moa with 170 yards rushing and three touchdowns. Didn't see that coming. Big four, Region 4 showdown. Westlake at Pleasant Grove. A playoff spot could be on the line here. Westlake's Caden Johnson trying to find a receiver, but he finds the Vikings' Maika Tauteoli instead. He brings it back 25 yards for the pick six. Pleasant Grove up 7-0. The next drive for Westlake, Johnson's picked off again. This time it's by Rex Connors, and there's no stopping Connors. He takes it back 75 yards for the touchdown. Another pick six. That kind of night for the Vikings. The final score was 56 to nothing. Dane Christiansen added three touchdown runs for Pleasant Grove. What do you say we head to St. George where Dixie High was hosting Pineview. The Flyers down 7-zip and they give the ball to Tyson Miller. He fights his way 12 yards into the end zone. Touchdown Dixie. That tied the game. Second half, the Flyers in position again. The pass from Reggie Graff to Josh Kazir. Touchdown later. It's Graff again and he is going to unload this thing and Kazir right there to haul it in. Another touchdown. Dixie goes on to win this one at home. Final 20 to 14. Graff with a couple of TD passes for the Flyers. Let's keep it rolling with a Region 6 battle between Murray and Skyline. Tied at 7 in the third quarter. Spartans quarterback Jarek Henriksen drops back, but he's picked off by Hayden Hansen. Skyline can't do anything with it, though, so Murray gets it back. Henriksen didn't learn his lesson the first time because he gets picked off again, this time by Chris Dudley. Yeah, Dudley does right, takes it back deep into Murray territory. Dudley's also the Skyline quarterback, fourth and goal, and he just sneaks it in from a yard out to give Skyline the lead, and they go on to win it by the final of 20-14. to 14. Aiden Hansen with two TD catches for the Eagles. An interesting non-league matchup between American Fork and Granger. The Cavemen came to play on the road, on the drive. Jackson also on the carry, but he loses the handle! And Granger's Anthony Boaz is there to recover it for the Lancers. But that was just a minor hiccup for American Fork. Maddox Madsen goes to the air and hits Taylor Crump coming right at you. Oh, oh. great catch. Gets inside the pylon. Touchdown. Sweet TD pass there. Final score was 49 to nothing. Boone Abbott with a TD run and a TD catch for the Cavemen. And the Utah Jazz holding an open practice for their fans tonight. Rudy Gobert showing off his Defensive Player of the Year award. And how about those purple unis? That was almost as good as Derek Favors' little girl warming up with them. <laughs> how cute is that? Now they make the rookies dance and let's just hope Grayson oh. Allen is oh, a no. better basketball no. player than he is a dancer. Ooh. Yikes. Ooh. They had a scrimmage in a three-point contest and look at Rudy Gobert maybe adding another element to his game. <laughs> uh, let's hope not. But Gobert can make the three. The Jazz tip off the preseason tomorrow night at home against the Perth Wildcats. They're from Australia, Wes. Oh, They're from okay. Australia. Okay. Okay. We're going to get all of our high school scores and highlights on our website, goodforutah.com. A score including Springville beating Wasatch 29-21 oh, in Region 8. We'll have in. the Beehive Blitz plays and player of the week Sunday night in Real Sports Live. And we will be right back. Good